Sometimes people will tell lies to make money. And I don't know what everybody here does for a living and everything like that. I know what some people do, but you know, oftentimes, especially in sales jobs, they'll, you know, people will train you and tell you to lie to people just to make money. I mean, that's part, that's part of their, their MO. That's part of what they do. That's part of their training. And it's nuts. It's crazy. But you really need to, 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 to think about, am I going to obey God or man if you're put in a position like that? You know, if someone's telling you you need to lie about something, you need to say, I can't do that. Sorry, can't do that. You got the wrong person. And if you need to fire me, fire me because I respect God and his commandments more than I respect you. And, you know, you don't have to say all these words, but, you know, I, I have a lot more, you know. And now I have no respect for you because you're telling me to lie and you're telling me to be dishonest. And, I mean, that's, I don't know about you, but that's not the company I want to work for. I want to work for people who are just going to tell you to be dishonest with people. I don't want to do it. And I know that things happen in, in business or whatever, but and it's not right. And it doesn't, nothing makes that right. And I'll tell you this much, if someone tells you to lie for the business, that's not a justification or excuse. You might try to tell yourself, oh, well, I mean, I was put in this position and I have to, I have to provide for my family, so I have to tell this lie. Look, if, if you take that path of reasoning, where does it end? Well, I got to provide for my family, so I guess I just got to prostitute myself. Well, I got to provide for my family, so I just got, you know, look, no. God will take care of you when you do what's right. When you have respect on his commandments, when you seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, these things will be added unto you. His righteousness. How about you don't tell lies? How about you make the stand and say, no, I have respect unto God's commandments, and God will bless you for that. But you know what? Show the faith by doing it. By, by saying, no, I am going to do what's right. The Bible says in Proverbs 21, verse 5, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of everyone that is hasty, only to want. And what's that saying there? Basically, the diligent means you're going day in, day out, you're working hard. That's where the plenteousness comes. But everyone who wants to be real hasty, no, I want it right now. I don't want to put in the work. I don't want to be diligent. Just give me it right now. It says it's only going to lead you to want, to, to, to having need, to not, not having what you actually want because you're hasty with it. Verse 6, this ties in with verse 6. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. You, you start writing these checks with your mouth that you want to cash in and you're telling lies to people. The Bible's saying... That's going to end up leading to death. You're seeking death. Now, there's many reasons why you may end up, be, you know, you know that, that you're seeking death. Obviously, you're not seeking it like, like the Bible's giving you this wisdom to let you know, even if you're not aware of it, you're actually seeking death. But I'm not seeking death. I don't want to die. Yeah, but if you keep up that behavior, you're seeking death. And one reason is because if you're trying to get treasures by a lying tongue, it's going to catch up with you. Because you're going to lie to the wrong person. You're going to lie to someone who might not have any problems with wiping you out. And if it's a significant amount of money, and sometimes, you know what, sometimes with people, they have a lot of pride. It doesn't even matter how much money it is. They'll do something evil against you because you crossed them. Of, watch what you do. And, and, you know, you don't know who you might be messing with. And getting of treasures, it says it's a vanity tossed to and fro. Because at the end of the day, those treasures, it's all vain anyway, so who really cares? You shouldn't be so focused and out for that money that you're willing to just, just tell a bunch of lies and just add more danger. Now, the other reason you, you could be seeking death is just because it makes God really angry that you're going to be deceiving people to make money. And that you have no regard for God's commands because you just care about making that money. And you have no care for that person that you're lying to. You have no regard for them. You know, as a Christian, we ought to esteem others better than ourselves. Well, you're not esteeming anyone better than yourselves when you're lying to someone. 